Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where you talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey, hey. We got Trev in the house. What's good? Woo! Lego. Now, we've all heard that old adage, it's not how you fall, but it's how you get back up. Well, check out Oprah's fall on stage when she was delivering this speech. And balance doesn't mean all things are equal or at peace at all times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was funny I yeah. saw like the light like right? hit it like it was kind of like setting her up like oh. you're gonna fall it felt like she planned it like way. it was just like it looked too I mean, it looked too perfect and because she was talking about balance and then right. she got unbalanced and fell down the sniper <laughs> that was a sniper is it yeah. <laughs> Shoot them oh. knees down. <laughs> Buckle on the kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> no, and there was something else too that she said at the end. Wrong shoes. Oh, okay, Wrong I'll, shoes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see you on the shoes it's, now. It's the shoes. It's the yeah. shoes. So, uh, Oprah, we wish you the best. Yes. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. If you ever make a bet with Dwayne Wade, you might not want to follow through with it. Shaq found out the hard way when he had to grow out his hairline. Check it out. And I said, well, what do you want me to do? Pay you? He said, nah. You gotta let your hairline grow out. We want to see your hairline looking like Kenny Smith. What in Ooh. the? Yeah. <laughs> that looks like LeBron's hairline. Whoa! Yo. That's like <laughs> that's Stephen A. Smith times Ooh. like twenty. Whoa! That is. It, it looked like he just put a marker on his head, though. It, he like, got it, that like, tattoo. It, 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 yeah, it doesn't look like it's real. Oh my so God. I just <laughs> I just lined it up for y'all so y'all can see where my hairline well, starts. Good. <laughs> good. Yo, Candace Parker was like. Kee, kee. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, Andrew Joseph said, Shaq got the Carlos Boozer special. Oh, yeah. oh, whoa. Yeah, that definitely looks like a paint job right there. <laughs> Ice cream paint job. Oh, that is a Sharpie. Like, what is that? That's just, like, that's way one. too shiny. That's, like, called, that's called shoe polish. You know about shoe polish? <laughs> that is shoe polish. That's cue huh? ball, baby. And then there's some, there's some other athletes who've done the same. Got your boy. Oh, my man, Ray Lewis. Ooh. There you go. Oh, Carlos oh, Beltran. <laughs> <laughs> My man. So Whoa, that wow. guy. He took a black marker. He really <laughs> didn't like, take that in. At least if you're going to do that, get the sideburns. The sideburns just like, totally <laughs> outfaded. Like, oh, I don't now. know what happened. Uh, but my whole thing is like, bro, you're playing baseball. You wear a hat 99% of the time. Why do you need to do this? Right? Is that his real hair right here? I don't know what's real or fake at this point. I don't know. Okay, and your boy Ray Lewis. Maybe okay. it's like some war paint, you know? What? <laughs> no, it's not war paint. It's like Rogaine. It's and called it's denial. <laughs> and this one comes from Frank Isola. Shaq says he lost a bet to Dwayne Wade. Is that a skull cap or a yarmulke? Ooh. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Dang, I didn't know that's how you spell yarmulke. Yeah, either. me neither. Yeah. I had to make sure. I was, I was like, is that how it's actually spelled? Yeah, they, it definitely looks like something you could just peel off. And right. I know, it's like a full-on mask. Yeah. Well, here's something I guess I'd never thought I'd say. Keep growing, Shaq. <laughs> Keep growing. And now it's time for the collab that nobody asked for. KFC and Crocs. Oh, God. What? <laughs> wow. Like Cinderella's glass slipper. Chicken version. Is that... What? Is that chicken? What is that? Yeah, I think that's like actual chicken. First of all, Crocs are the ugliest shoes that ever existed. And that oh, looks oh. like a Spice Girl shoe back in the day. Oh, that's a chicken leg on, on her shoe. <laughs> you just sound real excited about that. I don't even know how I mean, that I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, my mind's in the gutter. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm huh? <laughs> just thinking of all these people with fetish, foot fetishes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, let me okay, eat that okay, chicken okay. off your foot. You know, I, like, I, we were both like, Wait, what? <laughs> we, we missed that one. And trust me, my mind is usually in that gutter. It's just, you know, that's how it, it wasn't. KFC partnered with Crocs. And supposedly they even smell like the chicken I just ate. Ew, why would you want to smell like fried chicken? Uh, and you, your feet are like, imagine your feet smelled really bad. Oh, no, no. Can you imagine that room imagine? where it's like fried chicken yes. feet? And like artificial chicken Ooh. legs yes. on your thing. Oh yes. my god! It's like a stink oh. bomb. Wow, I'm so excited. There's a giant sign on this box that says "Do not eat." <laughs> so don't eat this. Really? Well, obviously really? you're not gonna eat some chicken really? yeah. shoes. Yeah, I would, that's I would hope you know. not. That's when you know. It's like those same people who think coronavirus has something to do with Corona beers. Uh, that, 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 that's yeah. the society we live in, and Dang. that's why it has to say "Do not eat." Well, if it smells like chicken and you're hungry, why wouldn't you think about it? They say that the gibbets actually smell like grilled chicken. J the what? The gibbets. The what are gibbets? What are gibbets? <laughs> let me let me let me try to figure that out. The what? <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> and if you scratch it. So 
gonna give this guy a little tickle. A little tickle. It smells like chicken. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Girl, that was the worst reaction ever. That was so <laughs> fake. <laughs> wow. It smells like chicken. <laughs> Like which one's real? Each chicken like that. From yeah, the what, bowl. yeah. She said she went from the <laughs> she, bottom. She went from the you bottom. Gotta, like, you gotta hey. hit that top part first. I don't know, yo. Not, there's like no meat right there. I know. Watch well, about you I can't be getting too much fat. I don't really actually ah! like it. So, like, <laughs> so she eats you gotta the spit fat. From- oh, you know. Hold on. You know the uh, smell just what? now. You know. Oh god. The shoe came off. We got scratch and sniff artificial chicken. And you we know got she's sweating. Chicken. You know she's sweating in those pants too. Oh my gosh. This is a dream come true. A dream come true to wear some KFC Crocs. I don't even know what the purpose of wearing these. Where is she gonna go out and wear that? To? I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, that was that real. Tongue out. I know. That was real sexual. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I've already right. lost like half the audience of this. I might as well sell some sexual <laughs> overtone to get some interest into it. Honestly, these Crocs are really cool. They're really comfy. I could see myself like commuting to work in these. Whoa, commuting to what commuting job? Commuting to work to what? <laughs> what job do you have? As what? a chef cook? Like, what, what? Don't wear that on the Metro in downtown LA because people would try to jack you for that food. <laughs> so uh, have fun with your gibbets out there. Like, I'm never going to look at chicken the same again. Now, we've all tried Airbnbs from time to time, but check out this one inside an elephant. A national historic landmark that stands six stories high with eyes overlooking the ocean is now listed on Airbnb. Six stories? Wow, that's, that's pretty, big. That's the cost for each stay, $138. Dinner and breakfast at local restaurants included. $138 yeah. a night? That's yeah. not bad at all. I, and dinner yeah, that, that, is a, that is actually a really good that's deal. A good like one day a night, and so you can live inside of a big old elephant through that very small doorway. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why is that so narrow? What? Oh, what? He's like, he's on his knees, like, oh, no, no, no. they're like, look, uh, I have an idea. Let me, let me get it from this angle. Double <laughs> says, surprise. So, Lucy, I was like, we're, playing, really? we're playing hide and go seek this elephant. What uh, part of the elephant is this? Yeah, like, I don't know if you want to know. <laughs> uh, is this the original bathtub? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what is this, a security So we're showering camera? there. That's where all what the action is. is. I like, that was like three feet wide, three <laughs> feet tall. They're like, look, let's try some new things with these, with these camera angles. <laughs> You're like a little elf. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hello, Mr. Frodo. He's about to jump out. Ah! Yeah, it looks like you're looking through like a keyhole or something. Yeah, you see like, his Hello. face. Folks who will be staying here won't be able to use it though because these days Lucy has no running water. Why, why do you say that was a joke? Like, I know, like it she the had line. no running water. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So is that why it's one thirty eight a night? Is, is, that, is that what? The oh, one, there's no water. There's no Wait, running water. Is there no bathtub at all? You gotta go take a shower in the ocean. You, you gotta, the, you gotta go ocean? take a dump in the ocean. There will be a bathroom facility with shower on the grounds right outside of Lucy. Outside? outside. Of Lucy? I don't know how I feel about that one. Okay, never mind. Well, hopefully, I they passed. gave me a robe and everything so I have to go out half naked. <laughs> That's why they give you free dinner and lunch because you gotta shower outside. <laughs> I know, what if someone's using it? What if like... And you have to use a restroom there too. How, oh, many you gotta, are, how many of these showers are there? It gives us an opportunity to expose Lucy to a much larger audience. Those... Wait, yes. wait, you trying to live in a, in a booty in a yeah. booty hole? Oh, is that the window? That's a window yeah. to the wall. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Oh, ski, ski, elephant. So start booking your reservations now. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to the Porta Potty Bandits. <laughs> What? Check it out. Frankly disgusting prank in North Wildwood has now been charged. Frankly disgusting. I know, he's like, <laughs> he's like the- Please gave Action News this video. <gasps> Whoa. Yo. Ew. Yep, showing 26-year-old Robert Daniels jumping off a seawall under the top of a porta potty last month. Okay, you don't have time to open up doors. You just got to plunge in there and have at it. That's right? disgusting. He was, like, he was like, forget the cannonball. I'm just going to die. Right? Can you Get imagine getting there? It's just like diarrhea and poop yeah. just oh. all over you. Like, I want to see what you look like after. Some might call that Darwinism, but police called it criminal. 
Darwinism. Darwinism. Wow. <laughs> he was arrested yesterday after the video went viral on social media. And then, and then here, I'm going to just show you the actual footage. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> now we're like no, no. <laughs> Calabunga, dude. We gotta go, we gotta go. Thanks for watching the episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Until next time, woo! Lego.